Hello, what's up, everyone? I'm Rachel D. Today, I have a video where I will be talking about how to set up the、uh, mod named Cyclist Co-op. So this is a mod for、uh, multiplayer features for all of the gamers that have the game Hollow Knight Cyclist on their PC. So Yeah, unfortunately, this mod is only for PC gamers, so it doesn't work for those of you who bought the game on Switch、uh, and PS4, something like that. You know, so it only works for PC gamers. Okay, let's get into the topic today. Okay, so there are basically two different types of the connection、uh, when it comes to setting up the mod. So one of the Connection type is Steam P2P. So this connection type is basically for those of the gamers who bought the game from Steam. Okay, so let's say you and your friends who all own this game on your Steams. I think this is an option for you guys. It's very easy to set up. All you need is to download the mod file. And it tracks everything from that mod zip file and paste them into the root directory of the game Silk Song. And after that process is done,、uh, you guys can just get into the game. And one of the one of you need to host the game and start inviting your friends to join your game. So that's the that's the process. Let me show you what it actually looks like. Okay, so the first thing, yeah, sorry. The first thing we need to do is to download the mod file from this website.、Uh, I will put the link of this website in the description. So make sure you check it. Okay, and we only need this file named cyclistcoop.zip file. So this is the only file that we need to download. Okay, so click on it and download it. And once you have this zip file downloaded. Uh, we need to extract everything from this zip file and put it in the root directory of、uh, Hollow Knight Silson. Okay, all right. So get to the home directory of my game, copy the path to the root directory of the game, and put it here. Click OK. He asked me to replace some file, and the reason for that is that I already、uh, paste the mod file in my、uh, Silson game folder, so that's why. So I'm gonna just yeah, click on yes all, and that's it. That's pretty much all we need to do to set up the mod for multiplayer in Silson. Let me demonstrate、uh, how it looks like when you have、uh, two gamers play the game together. Okay. I'm gonna use two computer at home. One of them is the one I'm using right now, and the other one is the one that I remotely connected to. And the other person need to do the same thing,、um, just like what I did earlier. Okay, so download the zip file, extract it, and put it in the root directory of the game. Uh, okay, let me do that really quick. So this is on my client machine. All right, so I just did that. Okay. So let me start a game on my client machine. Okay, so back on my host machine. Okay, this is the machine I plan to host a game so that my friend can join me. And after you put the mod file in your game folder. When you start a game yet again, you will notice that there's one more option on the game title, and it says "Enable Multiplayer Steam P2B." So, as the host, you want to click on this button first, and you see some message that pop out right here saying、uh, "Enable Steam Connection Successfully," and then you need to get into the game first for safety purposes. Okay, you just need to get it, get into the game. First, before you started inviting your friends, so let's get into the game first. I will just pick、uh, a new file, new profile here. So just wait, just wait for a bit. Okay, so I'm in the game. So this is the host. 
Okay, so I just host the game. Now I need to invite my friend to join. So all I need is to bring the Steam friend list here. And I want to invite this guy, which is the the person on the client machine. So click on that. Click on invite to play. I heard a sound on my client machine. So let's switch back to the client machine, which is right there. And I need to enable, I need to click on this enable multiplayer P, uh, Steam P2P button and then bring the uh, Steam friendly to click on this play game to accept the invitation. And here it says that, hey, we have connect, we have successfully connected to the host. And all you need is to just start a game, uh, pick a profile to start. Okay, now this is the client machine. I joined the host game. I can see the character of the host. And if we switch back to the host machine, we should be able to see the client character, the character from the client machine. So, yeah, so yeah, it's working. Okay, so the second type of uh, connection the mod provides is for the scenario where. Uh, gamers bought the game from different PC gaming stores, so and that is the standalone collection type. So, let's say I have the game, but I bought the game from GOG.com, and I have a friend who still wants to play the game with me, but he bought the game from Steam. So, using the same mod, we can still play the game together. But we just need to configure the mod a little bit, and that's what I'm going to talk about. Okay, so there is another file we need to download if we, we want to go for standalone connection time using the same mod. So and this this is the file. So I I know uh Sigil Song is also available on Mac OS and Linux, but it is video I just want to show the setup process on Windows machine okay so go ahead download this file echo server uh blah 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 windows msvc.exe so this is an executable uh file so get it download it okay and once we download the echo server file we don't have to like put it inside the root directory of the game folder uh, we can just leave it anywhere on our PC so it doesn't matter like where it is okay uh, but before we run this file we still need the mod file so, yeah let me do that again so I need to apply the mod file for my GOG silk song okay give me just a second so that's my GOG silk song Okay, applied. And what I need to do is to get into the GOG Silk Song. And this is my uh, GOG Silk Song root directory. And I want to go into this folder here, BEPLNEX. And there's another folder I want to get in, is config. And we should see three. Um, CFG files. The reason I have six is because I made some backup files just in case if I mess up with the settings of the mod. So this is the file we want to open. Uh, the name of the file is silklyslib.cfg file. Okay. And this file basically have the settings for for the for the mod. Okay. Um, one thing we wanted to change is this connection type is under the general session name here. So connection type uh, by default it points to Steam P2P, but we want to uh, change it to be a standalone. Okay, make sure there's no pound side in front of this uh, option connection type. If we somehow leave a pound side. Uh, uh, this setting will not be applied to the mod. Okay, so make sure you don't have a 
downside in front of the, uh, in front of this option and for both of the host and the clients uh, we we need to do this it is same for everybody and down here if we decide to choose the standalone as the connection type we need to change the server ip address and and the server port so the host need to fill in the server IP address and, and the port number. Uh, it depends on the situation. Let's say if you and your brothers and sisters or whoever living in your household, if you guys want to play the game, then the host doesn't have to change the default IP address. So, okay. But but the client needs to change the server IP address to be the IP address of the host machine in the home network. Okay. All right. So that's a that's a one scenario. And another scenario is that I want to host a game in my home network. I have other classmates who also want to play the game from their home with me. Then for that scenario, I need to change the server IP address to be either the public IP address of my machine or a domain name if I have a domain name available. So, okay. And I also need to make sure this port number uh, is forwarded and made its way available on the public internet so that my friends can type in the same IP address and the same port number so that they can connect to my game from their home so that's a reason that's a reason okay okay so yeah so in my case i put in the domain name because i i have a domain available and this domain name uh, is assigned to my public ip address so i put the domain name here for my friends somewhere <laughs> not inside my house to join the game and play the game with me so I will leave the default port number unchanged in this case, but I did change the IP address, the server IP address to be the domain name I have. And for the username, you can type whatever the username it is. Okay, let me show you what it looks like when it comes to the game. Okay, I just done configuring uh, my host for the game. And now I need basically just do the same on my client machine. So switch to my client machine. Uh, I have the file here. Uh, for the client, you don't really need the echo server if you want to join the game if someone hosts it, okay? But you do need to apply the mod file like, like I did. Because I, I have already applied the mod file um, earlier in the video, so I don't have to do that right now. All I need is to get into the game folder. So go into this folder, BPLNEX, and go to the config folder and open this file, um, silkless live. You can use either notepad or notepad plot plus to open this file. So look for the entry here. So, so we, we all need to do the same again. Okay, on the client. So switch the connection type or standalone so collection type equals standalone make sure there's no pound size in front of this option here okay all good now the server ip address we still need to type in the server ip address uh, of the host so earlier we we picked this domain name as the uh, server ip address so we we also need to just type it in on the client machine okay all right and just make a name or okay that's it that's it for the client so i'm back to the hosting machine let me start a game using the one from geo gog oh i almost forgot to mention uh, for the host we need to run the echo server executable file okay so find that file you just downloaded it for for any of you who want to host the game and for connection type standalone, you need to run this file. You need to run this file before you click on this enable multiplayer standalone. 
button right here okay so run this executable file a better to run it as a uh, administrator okay if you see something like this it's up and running and don't close it just leave it in the background okay now switch back to your game clean on this enable multiplayer standalone button here you should see some message right here saying enable standalone connector successfully and then get into the game first as a host pick a profile to start a game and just wait so once you you are in the game just wait for your uh, client to join okay now let me switch back to the client machine okay so this is uh, a game from my client machine uh, for the client, I can just like clean on this button first before starting the game. Clean on this button first, it just shows that oh, hey, enable the standalone connector successful. Uh, get into the game, start the game. Okay, it shows that I have joined the game. So this is my client. I can see myself and. Uh, the gamer from the host and now if I go back to the host machine I can see myself and the gamer from the client and on the host machine if you just bring the echo server executable window up you see that it shows two people join the game this is what it should look like Okay, so now you can play the game, although you and your friends own the game from a different PC gaming store. So this is how you can play the game together in that scenario. Hope this video helps you. If you like the video, um, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.